the defending champions, past champions, and those looking for their first world title. A deep, talented field came to Henderson, Nevada for the 2013 edition of the Ironman 70.3 World Championship. The morning rituals would take place well before sunrise. What was not expected to take place? Rain. But that was the reality. This is a day that the pros have been building towards for months. For some, the focus of an entire year. All their chips being played on this one day. The professional men would be the first to get things underway. The defending champion, Sebastian Kienle from Germany, looking to become the, only the second man to defend his title. Australia's Craig Alexander, determined to become the first to win three times. The professional men would be the first to get things underway. Sebastian Kienle from Germany, looking to become only the second man to defend his title. Australia's Craig Alexander, determined to become the first to win three times. The professional women would have to wait another five minutes for their battle to begin. Leanne Cave of Great Britain was the returning champion, but it was the 2011 champion, Melissa Housechild, that many considered the pre-race favorite. ITU women were expected to dominate in the water. Australia's Annabelle Luxford made sure that was the case. But the defending champion, Leander Cave, was only a few seconds back. Back to the men. Just 21 seconds separated the first 10. Right at the front, American Andy Potts. Not in this group, the defending champion Germany, Sebastian Kienle. He would start the bike over two minutes behind. Women's leader, Australian Annabelle Luxford, had opened up an advantage, but those valuable seconds were gone when she could not find her bike. Cave is now right there at the front. After several lead changes in the men's race, Josh Amberger returned to the front. American Andy Potts was pushing the pace as well. The 2007 champion knew he had to be in striking distance when the run began to have any chance of a second title. Another former champion, Torenzo Pazone, was thinking the same thing. Coming up to the halfway point, Amberger's lead was up to a minute but he was being tracked down by the Keenly Express. Coming into this race, everyone said the only way Sebastian Keenly could defend his title would be to dominate on the bike. The question was, would the others let him? The German is now second. Unfortunately for them, they had no choice. As for the 2011 champ, Australian Craig Alexander, penalty would end his dreams of a third title here. Annabelle Luxford continued to set the pace for the women. She was joined near the front by Sweden's Olympic silver medalist Lisa Norden. But early on what they feared would happen did. Despite a three minute gap out of the water, Australia's Melissa Houtschild took over control of this race at the 32 mile mark of the bike. As for defending champion Leander Cave, she would continue to fall off the pace throughout the day. Sebastian Keele starts the run with a three minute advantage. Deja vu to a year ago when he won. Andy Potts would come into T2 in second. 
but right there as well was Rudy Wild from Switzerland and Joe Gambles from Australia. By the time the chase group exited T2, second through 20th were separated by just over a minute. Heavy hitters in that group included Terenzo Bazone, Andy Potts, and Olympic medalists Jan Ferdano and Bevan Doherty. Ferdano would make an early charge as he worked away in only his second 70.3 distance race. Despite the fall, Andy Potts continued to battle for the podium. There were no missteps for the leader though. Germany's Sebastian Kiela continued to control the race. Jan Ferdano was out, leaving Terenzo Bazon all alone in second. But there was no challenging the defending champion. Sebastian Kiele is your 2013 Ironman 70.3 world champion. Back to back titles. Terenzo Bazon, after two injury plague seasons, is back. Third goes to Australian Joe Gambles. The, the mixture of feelings, it's, it's why it makes so special. You feel this uh, intense pain, and uh, but you are so happy at the same time. It's, um, it's, it's really great. The dominance on the bike would continue on the run as Hochschild remained unchallenged. Annabelle Luxford has been in second for so much of the day, but now in the last mile, she gets passed by American Heather Jackson. Two years ago, Melissa Hauschild's win was a shock. Not so this year. Your 2013 Ironman 70.3 world champion, Melissa Hauschild. Oh, it was amazing. Um, you know, you don't know you've got the win until, until you can see the banner. Anything can happen. You don't know if you're gonna bonk or anything. So when I could see it and you know, everyone high-fiving and stuff, it's just an amazing feeling. <laughs> Heather Jackson came fourth, then third, and this year, second. She has to be chomping at the bit for 2014. And rounding out the podium, Annabelle Luxford from Australia.